Your cavalry rebels? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Get out of here. The question of the day. Draft or sealed? Let me know in the comments below. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode of Mana Man, and today we've got a juicer for you. We've got Alchemy Rigging featuring the Fight Rigging. And why I love Fight Rigging so much in Alchemy is because we have more targets. So obviously Fight Rigging, you need, you need to go with Hideaway 5, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter, then you get to play the card with Hideaway, but you need power seven or greater. Now, how do we get into power seven or greater? In standard, you do have Shakedown Heavy, which is a great card, and we are obviously running four. But because this is alchemy, we have two more targets that we can fight rig. We have consuming Oni, and you need six power to get into the seven power threshold for the fight rigging. So consuming Oni with six power, flying menace at the beginning of your end step, a random non-land card in your hand gains Whenever you cast this loose through life, that's fine. We need it because it has six power. And we also have Katrog Horror of Zava. Also has menace, which is freaking cool they all have menace actually which is really interesting but you know we know what this card does here at the beginning of each combat uh it is it's untapped an opponent may sacrifice a non-token creature if they do tap it and then you get to seek a land card and then you can also sacrifice it for two and draw a card so basically we have all that we need here pretty much all we need when we use the fight rigging what we want to do is cast titan of industry or the invoke despair so we are running four of these so that gives us eight targets with the hideaway and then it also gives us 11 targets to actually target with the fight rigging pretty much that's what we have here i mean everything else is pretty standard removal i do want to get a little shout out to the break expectations card i think this card is actually really really good if if you are not worried about card advantage because under city plunder is a better card if you're worried about card advantage if you just want um disruption this card is actually pretty good here because the card they get back with it is not very good so i actually really like this card but this is the deck here before we get into the gameplay make sure to leave a like the button looks just like this helps out the channel tremendously go ahead and subscribe if you have not already and without further ado let's get ready to vanquish some enemies Deoxy7, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. I like this hand. It is a little scary because we don't have a whole lot of land here. And we, uh, we do have fight rigging and two. And this is why I love this deck so much. And I love alchemy fight rigging because you've got way more targets. You've got the shakedown heavy. you got the Katrog and the consuming Oni. So that is wonderful here. Let's go ahead and drop this. And let's go for break expectations. Let's go ahead and break our opponent's expectations here. I Ooh, okay. So they've got their own stuff going on here. Verdant Rejuvenation as well. That is pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and get rid of their fight rigging here. We could have gotten rid of the Infernal Grasp, but because we have more than one target here, I'm not too worried about that. They can use Infernal Grasp. We've got three targets for the fight rigging here. I'm a big fan of the Break Expectations because it gets rid of their best card. I know they get a card back. But it's usually something super dumb that they don't want anyway. So let's see so they have this. It's pretty much like a three mana value or a mana rock here. I'm not that worried about it. Just not. Kami of Bamboo Groves. Okay. All right. Thankfully, we do get into more land because we are going to need more land in due time. So right now, we can't do anything. But it's okay. It's only turn two. We are a little slow. We are on the draw as well. But hopefully, we can make this up. So they're going to go for probably this relic. They yeah, have swinging for one. Not that threatening. I don't really care that much. So they drew drop this. I mean, we do have to be careful, though. This re this Verdant Rejuvenation is definitely, you know, a little nerve-wracking here. And does command a little bit of respect. So do we go for the Shakedown Heavy? I mean, they have an Infernal Grass that we're going to have to play around anyway. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. We do have the fight rigging. They're going to go for the Infernal Grasp. It is what it is. So this is being a mana rock here. I mean, we're, we're going to have to play through it no matter what. So I, I just don't really care that much. It just is what it is. Plus, there's really nothing else. I mean, because there is mana efficiency. So even if they do play that, it's just not that big a deal. So Valky, God of Lies, that is a bigger deal. We're, we are We do have more things to have, though. So they're probably going to take a Gatrog or a uh, Consuming Oni. Doesn't matter a whole lot. So they are going to take the Oni over the Gatrog. Okay, not a big deal. We're still sitting okay. We still have the Fight Rigging. We still have a Gatrog. And we have an Invoke to spare. So there's a Duress. Oh, goodness. Instead of going for Gatrog now, I think we just go for Duress. Get rid of this big scary thing. Because eventually they are going to have enough mana to cast this thing. So, oh... Ooh, okay. Now they have an Infernal Grass. This makes it a little bit hard. One, two, three, four, five. This costs eight. 
I'm thinking about taking away the Infernal Grasp, just so that we can go for fight rigging. Plus, they don't really have that many good things with the Verdant Rejuvenate. I think we actually take away the Infernal Grasp. I think we do. We kind of have to. Because now we go for fight rigging here. We only have one more target, and it is the Gatrog Horror of Zava. And we can't have them Infernal Grasp this. We just can't. So, can we... F okay, what do we do here? We can get another fight rigging. I think we do. We typically want a Titan of Industry or an Invoke Despair. Those are going to be our best fight rigging targets to actually cast with the Hideaway ability. So they can swing in with the Consuming Oni. I'm assuming they're going to transform this, which is pretty terrifying. Okay, so up to four. So we can't keep taking this forever. That is pretty terrifying. We can do it one more time. They don't have any more man lands, and this is terrible because now we can't go for Invoke Despair, but it's okay. Let's go for Katrog, and at least we can get a little bit of fight rigging going here. So we cast another fight rigging. Hopefully this hideaway we get something pretty good, and we do. We get a Titan of Industry, which is just beautiful. We're going to need that 110%. So we can't really go for the Invoke Despair because we have two green, and the Invoke Despair needs four black specifically. I think they're still a little bit too slow to go in for rejuven um, Verdant Rejuvenation here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to take another six, go down to five. Okay. Okie dokie here. Have no fear, though. Have no fear. Things are going to get better here. With. With. Do we want to go for Invoke Despair? Let's go for Fight Rigging first, right? Here's what's actually really cool here. We want to save this, and I'll show you why. I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to attack right the second here. Let's go for fight rigging. We're going to do the Titan of Industry here. We could actually. Oh man. We're doing. We're destroying a target artifact or enchantment. I think we just gain the five life here. We could kill the Kami of Bamboo Groves because this is an enchantment. Then we can go for Invoke Despair. But I think because they do have no. No, we're, we're, we're going to kill the Kami of Bamboo Groves, and I'll show you why. I want to use Invoke Despair, basically is my point. And they, they actually just know. So you got to love the Katrog. Theopolis, how you doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. I'm a huge fan of this Break Expectations card. I know people might look at it and say, well, they get a card back. But it's like, yeah, they get, they get a card back. But the card they get back is usually really crappy. And plus, if you're not wanting... If you're not wanting to have, like, a um, card advantage in the game, it's not that big a deal. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go for the... Oh, not... I don't think we can drop Invoke Despair on turn one, but let's go for Break Expectations. Let's break some expectations here. Okay, so this is going for the Ominous Loop. Okay, so what do we actually want to do here? We have, we have to be the most... I think it has to be the Racketeer boss here. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. So now we get rid of the Racketeer boss. This is nice because they get a Replicating Ring. See, look at this. They just get a three. That's actually one of the best cards they can actually get with it, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. They're going to get an Ominous Traveler. What they want to do is go for the Racketeer boss. Give the Acerirac and the, uh, oh, the Ominous Traveler. It's on the board, duh. They want to use this and then just create treasures and then just keep looping with the Cabaretti Rebels. That is going to be what they want to do here. So I guess we don't have to drop the Mire premature. Sounds dumb, but it could come in handy. So let's go for the Blood Chief's Thirst. Just go ahead and kill this thing right away. Okay, we do have the Invoke Despair. We do have the Blood Chief's Thirst. We are sitting okay. We're sitting okay here. I would like, instead of this Titan of Industry... Wow, they actually have nothing to play. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's go for the Shakedown Heavy. We might as well just get out our biggest threat here. Maybe we can do some some fight, some fight rigging here. Fable of the Mirror Breaker here. Okay, but now we can rig the fights. We can rig the fights here. Let's go for this first, and then I think we go for fight rigging, and then we can go for Blood Chief Slurs. Before we use Blood Chief Slurs, let's see if we can do this. So we go for Invoke Despair. We're going to be able to Invoke Despair right away. You gotta love it. You absolutely gotta love it. And I'm trying to think here, do we want more cards? I think we can just Blood Chief's Thirst this, because if we cast this Invoke Despair, this goes away, but I think I would rather draw here. So let's get rid of you. Now they don't have anything to tap the Shakedown Heavy, and oh god, this is going to be a power play. Invoke Despair, destroy your Fable of the Mirror Breaker, get more land, swing in, and they can't untap, well they can't untap it. And they don't! 
So they are not fearing us whatsoever. Absolutely no respect, but that's okay. Cabaret Ready Rebels is not going to be a big deal at all because we've got another Invoke Despair here. And we've got to make sure we go for black because you need a lot of black here. Invoke Despair, baby. You got to love it. Pretty simple stuff here. Your Cabaret Ready Rebels, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Get out of here. They could have untapped it. It wasn't technically over, but I guess they've had enough. The Dark Destroyer 3000. How is it going here? Let's see what we can get into. Deathcap Glade. Alrighty, alrighty. Well, let's start off with our Duress. I really like this break expectations, but I think we'll go for Duress first. Wow, and that is a big, 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 oops. And you gotta, you gotta hate when that happens. You absolutely gotta hate that. They are literally playing the same exact deck as us. They've got pretty much the Katrog, the fight rigging and all that. Wow, we. And they even have the Jurassic, which is pretty cool. So we'll commend them for that. Let's go for the break expectations here. We'll go ahead and get rid of their best card. And, oh god, they even have the fight rigging and the shakedown heavy. Which is just crazy, because we want to get into that. I guess we will take away... I guess we'll take away the fight rigging. I mean, that is their most potent card, because they do have two of the targets here. So we'll get rid of the shake... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the best choice here. I would consider it if they didn't have the Gatrog or a shakedown heavy. But because they have two targets, it's just better to get rid of the um, the actual fight rigging because they have two ways to get rid of it. So the break expectations is nice for this reason. I mean, they it just it just like sucks. Like we go for the duress and they don't have it in their hand and then they top deck it. Like you could not ask for an absolute worst thing. You you just couldn't. It just it's just sometimes that's the way magic works. We do have our own shakedown heavy, but they do have menace, so we're a little bit behind here. Now, we do have a Mii Hook Massacre, but they're too big. They're too big to get massacred. <laughs> that is the unfortunate part about that. So, here's the Katrog. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to do that. No point in doing that on our own turn. Sometimes people do misplay this. Um, We'll just decline. We'll just take it. We'll just take it. Screw it. Deathcap Glade. Can't do anything. Mii Hook Massacre. Doesn't do anything. And we'll go ahead and say no. We might as well attack. Here's the thing. I mean, we, we have Menace, but they didn't too. So, like, we might as well attack. They actually just do that. That's actually not a big deal. So, now we go for our own Katrog. And I actually really like that a lot. Instead of taking the damage, I think they should they should have just taken the damage. But instead, they let us draw here. So, it gives us a little bit of momentum in the game. I think that's a pretty big mistake here. This is actually turning out pretty... Again, I'm sorry about the, the, the sound bug. This is terrible. So, the sound... Th there's literally no sound. There's no sound anymore. That is, I mean, really sad. Um, it is what it is. So, Gatrog. I mean, do we want to give them a land here? Not really. So, we'll decline here. We'll give them a draw with the Shakedown Heavy, I guess. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take this action. Because they do have Menace. So, we'll untap you. And then, I guess we will double block this Gatrog here. Because they can only kill one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. I mean, this this sound bug's really unfortunate here. We do have the mat, yeah. We and there's no reason why the all the audio should be gone here. So again, I do apologize for that. There's just really nothing I can do here. So we do get rid of one of the creatures, which is really really nice. Hopefully, I mean, we do it. We have enough land to be able to cast this invoke despair, which is nice as well. But this colossal plow might be re might be kind of problematic here. So it does get this with the Gatrog, which is really nice here. But, we're not going to be wanting to sacrifice any lands anytime soon. Let's just go straight up for the Invoked Spare. So, get rid of you. Draw some workers. Hopefully, we get into a fight rigging or something, which we do not. Which is, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Colossal Plow is pretty nerve-wracking. I mean, I'm still going to wait to attack. If they've got a Colossal Plow, if they've got something to play, they can't obviously cast the Jurassic. This is a land. But if they cast something for the, with the Colossal Plow, oof. Oof, 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 oof. So, fingers crossed. Alright, so they're going to use the Crag, the Crag Crown Pathway with their Gatrog. They do get to draw, which is nice, though. They do get rid of some land, but, I mean, still pretty nerve-wracking here. We do get the Consuming Oni. Okay. Again, we do get the land trigger here with the Gatrog, but we're not wanting to play that. Absolutely not. We're going to want to go for... We can go for a Consuming Oni or the Shakedown Heavy. I think we... I think we're just going to... Let's just swing in first. 
So they're going to let us swing in, and they can only take one more damage it, or one more swing with the Katrog before they die. So, okay. Bang, down to four. Again, sorry about that, the, um, the thingy majig. I think we're going to go for... Uh, I think we just go for Mihook Massacre for zero. Because we don't have anything... We're not going to kill them. They don't have any of these small creatures here. They have these big, gigantic, scary creatures. And I think we're going to drop the Consuming Oni. Because this has Flying and Menace. Okay. They have four life. And that is going to be good game. Wow. 